Hey, this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DHSM. We will take a look at the daily time frame. Pretty sure I've never done this one before, but had a ton of questions come in on it and a ton of people saying, hey, check this one out, and uh, rightfully so, what a monster of a day. Uh, two things happened, and although they seem basic, uh, it's pretty important when you stop and think about it. That is, big increase in volume, and then to go along with that, which is important, bullish price action that you know reacted accordingly with it. I bring that up because nothing worse than seeing you know big volume come in and then see the price either go sideways or worse yet down this was not the case today with uh, DHSM so that's a good a good thing that I think gets overlooked a lot uh, you know there's no point there's nothing to really get excited about if a price can't move but you can see here big volume and the price can definitely move and that's uh, you know that's how you make money if the price can't move then you you know good luck trying to make money but uh, this one shows us that it's one that can really get moving so it'll be interesting to see uh, how the rest of this week unfolds uh, but what I want to do is just map out some support levels and resistances that way everybody's got an idea of what's going on from the technical perspective so the first area of support actually I'm just going to talk about two at once are going to be these two lines this gray line and the blue line this blue line is a 10 day simple moving average that's valued at 0014 and this gray line is a 20 day simple moving average that's double or valued at 0018 so those are going to be the two initial level of supports and then another level of support and this is more of a or not more of it is a, a static level meaning it does not change with time is this level right here so we'll change that to green and this level is valued at 003. You can see back in the history of the chart, acted as support, support a couple more times, and then when the price did drop below it on this day, acted as resistance, resistance again, and then today because the price uh, not only broke above it but closed above it, it is back to being a support. So 003 is gonna be that uh, ideal level of support, meaning ideally you'd like to see this hold, but if it doesn't, no need to panic or freak out because you still do have these other moving averages below you that will act as support. Now in terms of resistance levels, the first one that sticks out is right here. Change that to red to represent resistance. And I'm gonna leave this line skinny because if this volume surge continues, I don't foresee this one putting up much more of a fight. Uh, but this level is up here at 0 0.035, or excuse me, 0 0.0035. You can see knock down the price there. And then once more, but the big resistance on this one and the key level is gonna be up here at the 50 day cent moving average, that purple line there, that's valued at 0044. So that'll be the one where, uh, you know, if, if the price can start to get some closes above here, uh, then that's really gonna set off the, the traders' radars and scanners and really draw more eyeballs to the chart. So uh, this will kind of be the, the scanner resistance, if you will, meaning if get some closes up above here, you know, definitely more and more people are gonna be checking out because then you'll start to get trend traders that check it out and just more, uh, you know, more eyeballs. Uh, and that's the name of the game, just getting eyeballs, you know, on the chart. So uh, that'll be the key level of resistance, um, you know, for that. But all in all, great looking chart. Nice to see that the price is able to move and move quickly when, you know, volume does come into it. So if there are any other questions, though, on the chart, please let me know. Let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out our newsletter up there. When you sign up, you'll get a free ebook. And if you enjoy the video and want to learn more about charting and how to use it in your strategy as a trader and make an investment into your education as a trader, I'd encourage you to check out our video course down there. Over eight and a half hours of video and teaching and getting great third-party reviews, so I'd encourage you to check that out. One more time, this was DHSM. Thanks for listening.